You just keep your hand right there for me. Um, do you have a nickname? Joe. We're going to call you Camper Joe. That will right. be your nickname, Camper Joe. Why don't you tell everybody what happened to your hand, Camper Joe? Well, I was uh, cutting a tag off a bathing suit and in the incorrect manner with my pocket knife and uh -huh. cut through it and mm -hmm. cut right through my finger as well. All right. And so anytime there's a laceration at the palmar aspect of the fingers or the hand here, we want to make sure that you have full range of, mo uh, of motion. Are you able to curl your finger okay? Yeah, that looks real good. So your flexor tendons are okay. And also we pinch down on the tip of the finger and make sure that it pinks up okay. And you feel me touching down here? Yeah, it's tingly. A little bit of tingly, yeah, because I think kind of laterally over here you may have nicked the nerve but that will regenerate, okay? Okay. So what we want to do, Miss Linda, we've got Linda helping today. When we document this, we want to document that he did have some lateral tingling on the thumb aspect or the thumb side of the finger here, okay? So that if he continues to have problems with it, at least it's a known issue, okay? So what we're gonna do, the first part of this is numbing this up, it's the hard part, okay? We're actually gonna come right in through the wound. And I have a little 1% plain lidocaine, and this is gonna sting. It's gonna hurt more than the cut did. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. All right, here you go, a little stick. Or a big stick, depending on which end of the needle you're on, right? Yeah. There you go. Oh, she may need it to give us a little bit more medicine. Let's swap that out. We'll see how we do. So this is a little betadine. We're going to clean the wound now and shouldn't be as painful. It shouldn't be hurting as much now. Yeah. When was your last tetanus shot? Can't remember. It would have been here with y'all though. Okay. We can check the chart and find out. Was he on your schedule, Miss Linda? Wow, this should have been your procedure I'm stealing from you. You sure you're okay with that? I think he's okay with that. <laughs> he's okay. He's all right with it. All right. Um, all right, I'm ready. And you're okay if we video you for our friends on YouTube? Friends on YouTube. Yeah, for Joe. I'm going to yeah. change my position a little bit so I can get a, a good position. We're going to use a little 5 O ethylon here. Okay. Now, if you feel any pain, I want you to tell me. Now, you might feel a little sting or a very slight pushing kind of sensation, but you shouldn't feel like tremendous pain, okay? Okay. Had worse sores on the tongue and never quit whistling. Right. So we'll put a few stitches in this and then ask you just to take it easy. We'll dress this up nice, and then uh, hopefully this will heal up nicely, and we'll take the stitches out in about a week to 10 days. We want to be real careful about not taking the stitches out too soon in this particular area of the finger because as you can see you have uh, you know a joint there mm -hmm. right so it's going to want to pull apart just naturally linda are you going to cut for me in a moment sure. all right give me a little cut there can always cut too long because we can trim them down, right? You don't want to cut them too short. That's what you got to be careful of when you're cutting. Got it? Can I get a four by four, please, ma'am? So Linda just recently joined our team. She's a nurse practitioner and we help train her. All right. All right, so this goes to show if you do a lousy job training them, then you're sort of stuck with them. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, she's doing a great job. <laughs> I was actually having quite a bit of neck pain this morning. And uh, Linda just stepped right in and said, I'll help you out. And I thought, oh, that's awesome. I'm gonna turn you just a wee bit right mm -hmm. there. So after you uh, put the stitches in, Miss Linda, you wanna also, you wanna verify that the, um, the finger still has full range of movement, okay? So just a nice clean dressing on it. You don't need an antibiotic. We're gonna to check to see if you need a tetanus shot. Okay. If you do, we'll take care of that. Otherwise, uh, we'll see you back in about a week to 10 days. Okay. Take these stitches out. You should have no trouble at all. Can you feel me touching over here? Um, bear, I, I can feel it. You can feel it? Down. How about on the other side? Yeah, I, I can feel it. So a little bit, so you, you kind of caught the nerve on this side over okay. here. So. We're going to document that, but I expect that within a few weeks to a few months, that'll all come back to normal. Okay. 
Okay, but you were great. Thanks much. for uh, hey, thanks for letting us video that for our friends on YouTube. No problem. Camper Joe. All right. Hey, folks. You spoke and we listened. Here's what you had to say about Meta Seven. I love it so much. It gives me so much energy during the day. I've noticed a change in my hair, my nails, my blood pressure. There's no doubt that it, it's it's a benefit to me. It gives me more stamina. And it could actually help you lose weight. Now, I haven't taken a nap in six months. That's right, Meta7. More and more people are sending in their testimonials. Weight loss, more energy, and generally feeling more alert during the day. Let's hear more. I used it to help wean myself off caffeine and energy drinks, and my productivity has been very high lately. It's natural, it's amazing. I feel motivated to get out and do things that I didn't before. I'm not tired during the day. I've worked 12 hour shifts. Just go, go, go all day. It makes me feel great, I love it, and um, take it. It's wonderful stuff. If you haven't tried Meta7 yet, it's time to order yours from Amazon. Time to boost your metabolism and kick your energy level into high gear. There's an Amazon link in the description.